Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel, thank you for clicking. Now in this tutorial I'll be using satin bias, matches, a pair of scissors. Now for the matches you can use lighter instead than a pair of slippers. Now I will start by cutting about 40 inches of the satin bias. I will cut about 40 inches of the satin bias. Okay, so on the slipper, on the slipper, I'll be passing my satin bias into the ends, the two ends of the slipper. I will start with one end. I'll push down my satin bias through one of the ends. Okay guys, now with the help of my scissors, I'm going to push my satin bias through the end. I'm putting the scissors together to make it strong. So now I'm pushing down my satin bias. through one end of the slipper okay so I've gotten okay now I've gotten some of the setting by showing at the end of or outside the slipper so I'm pulling it out congratulations to me I've been able to pull it out so at this at this point I'm going to tie it so I'll place my index finger on it then pass the asset through the loop created And pull it try to press down any excess of the satin bias on the flat end of the slipper then you pull it together or tie it firmly while pressing down any excess of the satin bias on the flat end under your slipper try as much as you can to tie it firmly now I'm going to light my matches and Burn the end of the satin bias to prevent it from fraying out. Like I said, you can use lighter if you have that. After tying, I'm pushing or pressing down the excess of the satin bias under the flat end. Of the slipper, you have to do it neatly to avoid it showing. You have to do it neatly to avoid it from showing. Now we come to the top of the slipper. I'm passing the satin bias under the side of the slipper. You pass it under, then you roll it over the side of the sliver. 
after passing it under, you roll it over. Then you pass it under the side again. While tightening it. You don't need to make it loose and you don't need to make it extremely tight. So we'll be rolling over, rolling over. Okay. Now at this point, it has so many ways to do it. You can do it in this way by passing your satin bias on top of your slipper. You can do it this way or oh, better still you can change it by passing it under the other side of the slipper the other end this way Then you continue to roll over. Like I said, you need to make it firm or tight, not extremely tight and not loose. You have to make it tight. That will make your work beautiful and come out neatly. I got a roll of So I'll be passing my satin bias over and under the side of the slipper until I reach the other end. Until I reach the other end. Okay, okay, the last person under Okay, the final one. So you can see it is came out neatly because I didn't make it loose or too tight. So at this point, I'll be pushing the excess satin bias down through the last or the other end of the slipper by pressing it down using the pair of scissors. And through the other end of your slipper. You 
gotta push it through and push it through. This is achievable. Oh. Don't mind my singing, oh. <laughs> Okay, guys, so our work is almost done. So just as how we started, same way you're going to end. So I'll be holding down the starting bias with my index finger. Then make sure I pass my starting bias under the flat end of the slipper and forming a loop then I pass the excess of the setting bias through the loop created or formed okay then tie or pull it. I'll be pulling while pressing down the satin bias under the flat end of the slipper. Guys, if not subscribed to this channel, let me remind you to hit the red button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. Share to your friend and comment down below of what you didn't understand or what you think should have been in the video. Now, like I said, what we did initially, I'm bending the ends of the satin bias to avoid it from fraying or to prevent from fraying out so this being done I'll press it down under the flat end of my slipper so this is done thank you for watching this simple tutorial thank you for watching now to about concluding the same thing you're going to do for the other other slipper so this is what we have here click the subscribe button thank